I just, I just wanted to ask you, if, songwriting wise, if you feel that um, you write better songs when you're going through an emotional or personal life turmoil, and if that's the case, how do you balance being happy and creative? There you go. Well, that's, that, those are two separate questions. How do you deal with being happy and creative? Well, I've got two people living inside of me. One of them wants to go buck wild and disappear in the night and do crazy things. The other one is from Fairfield, Connecticut, and doesn't quite know how to fend for himself. So I've got, I've, got the, I've got the Fairfield boy that goes, we can't do that. And the rock guy goes, you can do whatever you want to do. And so, no one in this room is normal. You're not, first of all, you're not normal. 45% of the people in this room have out of the blue anxiety attacks. That's just the way everyone thinks they're going. Everyone's sitting there going like, why do I freak out at 2 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday watching Comics Unleashed with Fire Allen on the world TV? All of a sudden, i got to go take a walk. Because you're an artist, and it's weird. It's very weird. It's very weird. Why when I get turned on, do I get boom, turned on? And why when I laugh, do I have a laughing fit? And why when I get sad, do I not let stuff go? Well, that's the negative stuff. You can also ask yourself, why can I go into a room and see things that aren't there, and in 35 minutes have a song I can keep forever? They're both crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And so it's a very difficult thing to balance, but it's about balance. Um, writing when I'm in the middle of something is difficult because I don't have the perspective yet. And I would say that the real binary question of whether I can write or not has to do with, <laughs> am I close to my feelings? You don't always want to be close to your feelings. I don't recommend it. There are nights you don't want to be close to your feelings. You don't want to have your own song stuck in your head. I've had 12 songs stuck in my head at a time like lucid dreaming with song, it's like, it's, it's crazy. So there are times you don't want to be touched or you don't want to be, you don't want to be any more interesting than anyone else in the room. And so sometimes it's okay to not be creative sometimes. It's okay to be, you know what? I'm taking a break off, I'm taking a break from writing. Because it'll eat you alive. You have, I mean, I've never been more lonely in my life than when I finished an excellent song. I have no idea why that is. Have you ever done great and you go like this, and you're like on a high, and then all of a sudden you go, I feel like the loneliest person in the entire world. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> but we can go through it together, because you're an artist. And you're artists, and you can't hold yourself to the standard of a certified public accountant. You just can't. <laughs> you're an artist, and you're weird. Get over it. You deal with it. There are plenty of pills for that. Not too many. <laughs> you got one right here, in case I decide that I don't like myself all of a sudden. In case I decide this is all going too well, I'd like to derail myself. <laughs> How many people are like, oh my god, I have panic attacks too, I can't believe you just called it up. I know, it's not that big a deal, I mean, it's a big deal, but you're not that special because we all have <laughs> Wow, because I get fantasies about people I don't even know too, and I feel like I fall in love with them, and I don't want to see them in the cafeteria. <laughs> you're fantastic! That's how it works! <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Uh, my name is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Um, First of all, I love your long hair. Thank you. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you about, um, and you're probably used to this by now, but just how do you get used to being so transparent in your music in terms of like either exposing your own heart or people in your family or who you love or all that stuff? That's a great question. I feel like uh, music is the last bastion of being protected by the art that you make. Um, well, there's a difference between being honest and just exposing. You know, a lot of people go, just being honest. It's like, no, you're just, that's not, there's no honesty in just spilling things out. The honesty in a song, I, I believe that you have diplomatic immunity inside of a song. If, if you wrote the song, you're behind that song. Don't, it, it, I, I'm not going to let the media affect uh, how I write my music. But I go in and out of that. I go in and out of caring. The only way I could not care to write this, enough to write this record about my life is to shut all the curtains down and go, I'm not reading what people think. I don't think it exists. I haven't read a thing in like six months, and my life is still pretty damn great, so, uh, winning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's so true. 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 I had a discussion with my manager about this, because there's some stuff on the record that's definitely going to uh, raise some, uh, it's going to intrigue people. Uh, but it's how I feel. And he said, I just want to make sure you don't get sort of taken down for it. Like, First of all, I'm not talking to anybody. It's a wonderful thing. Try not talking to anybody sometimes. 
I didn't know this. It really works. People don't have anything to write if you don't talk to them all the time. And uh, I said, well, think about this. Like, if the media were the way it were, was, were, um, in 1965, then everybody would know, like, if Bob Dylan broke up with, like, Joan Baez or something, he'd be like, Dylan and Baez split. Dylan. So they come up with some name. Baez. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden, It Ain't Me Babe would be a big, sensational medium thing. But it's not, because number one, it's a song, and it's a well-written song. People be too busy thinking about their own damn life. If you do it right, if you don't do it right, they're like, who's that about? I don't want to name any names, but some people aren't very good at it. Uh, and, uh, I don't care. I, I thought I could say what I wanted to say. <laughs> about something, because if you're honest about something, you go, this is my fault, too. So when I go, uh, you know, well, I'm not some troublemaker, and I never met her harm, but that doesn't mean I didn't make it hard to carry on. That's honesty. That's true honesty. Spilling things that anybody can just sort through. Uh, I don't choose to, I don't think I've done, I've sort of accidentally done that outside of songs, but that's another reason that I took all that other stuff out. So if I have something I want to say, I don't blog it anymore, I just put it in the song. And the song got richer because it's like covering up holes in a hose so the water pressure gets stronger. And then I just put it all on the record. And if your song's good enough, your song will, your song's like a big bouncer, like, got a problem with that? I'm an awesome bridge. Got a problem with that? <laughs> I'm a bridge that reminds you of the magic in your own life. Who was that about again? That's right, you forgot, because it's a pretty cool song. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can't wait to get these quotes in the magazines. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's up, guys? Hello, John. How are you doing? I'm going to take a look back at my life. Here I am at nine, stealing a candy bar. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, this is two part, Chris. Okay. Make it three Questions. parts. Put a, put a third part on it just to do it. Alright, I'm doing it. The third three part. Question uh, XL. <laughs> just go with Alright, man. This first question has nothing to do with music. I love it. Let's have it. How is it working with Tim and Eric? Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're the, you're the demographic. You're the adult swim demo. Great. Great. You know? uh, people, are very, people are very intrigued sometimes by what I'm into. Like, I, I'm into a lot of stuff that you wouldn't think I was into, given what I, music that I play. I'm into very, very subversive, abstract comedy. And the, the Tim and Eric are a, a duo on adult swim for those. The television Woo! society wants to pick anyone what that is. Uh, and... Uh, and it's very fun. I mean, it's very fun to play along with those guys because it's just such a culture clash. Even though it's not really because I'm, I mean, most of the stuff I'm into is not very large audience stuff. So it's kind of funny to juxtapose that. Yeah. Huh? Have you heard this? <laughs> what am I going to get? What am I going to get? It's going to be amazing. What's the second part of the second? Do, is there a part of that question or is it a whole different no, question? Different question. Can't imagine that question stemming into another question. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, uh, what, what Bob Dylan album are you uh, most into at this point? Um, what Bob Dylan record? Well, I'm not having a huge tank with that. I'm having a big uh, Blood on the Tracks thing. Yeah. It's such a well recorded album. Yeah. It's such a well recorded album. I, 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 I walk down the street, I go to the gym. Uh, I don't, can't tell. And I, 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 people in New York City don't go to the gym to get thinner. They go to the gym to stop getting fatter. Uh, it's, a, it's a strange distinction. But I, I like the sort of protective cloak of idiot wing. So I, 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 my, I wear my in-ear monitors everywhere I go. But people can't tell that I'm wearing earphones because they're going through my back. And so people will be talking to me, I think, for probably 35 seconds where they're going to be ignoring them. And I'd be like, Shh. I'm sorry, what? Sorry. So I'll walk down the street uh, on the way to the gym and I'll put on Idiot Wind and it's just kind of nice in case somebody sort of comes up taking pictures of a guy. Someone's got it in for me. They're printing stories in the press. That's right. Whoever it is, they better cut it out quick. 